What's up, everybody? Doc Doc 185. There's levels to this. Okay, I I was gonna do a, a 30 minute session with Doc about this one, but I don't even know if it's gonna be that long. So I'm I'm just gonna say it on here. YouTubers flip flopping from platform to platform, meaning going from Xbox to PlayStation and then switching over from PlayStation to Xbox. The reason I'm making this video is because right now there is a group of Stadia content creators that have to find a new home. And I believe that just because you are a Stadia content creator and your platform dies doesn't mean that you as a content creator should stop making content. Like that don't I don't I don't think that's fair, okay? I've said it plenty of times on this channel and I'll say it again. There's only one thing that I'm loyal to, and that's Jesus. And I mess that up all the time, so I'm very grateful for his grace. That being said, if next week Sony does something extremely compelling that I like better than Game Pass or what Microsoft is doing, I have no problem switching over. None at all. None at all. Even though I've built my channel talking about Xbox and the things that I like about Xbox. But that's how you know that I'm being honest. I'm not just up here capping because as soon as I see something better on the other side, I will go. It's just the Sony side, the PlayStation side is, is not better. You have to be delusional to really believe that. You really got to put blinders on to really believe that. But to each his own. But with that being said, I used to be in that same boat where... People would tell me, oh, that person was uh, really big on Xbox and now they're they're on PlayStation. They're capping for PlayStation. And it's like, man, are you doing that for clicks? Like, what are you doing that for? Or that person was really big on Xbox and now they're really big on PlayStation and then they switch back, right? And I, I used to think, like, when you hear it, like, oh, that sounds bad. Like, you should, you should stay with the... The platform that you chose from the beginning, even though you realize later on that you chose wrong. No, that makes no sense. Or even though your platform went a different direction that you don't like. No, that makes no sense. So this is what I want you to do. If you are a Sony or an Xbox content creator, and if you are a Stadia content creator, you are allowed to change your mind. That is part of the human experience. You are allowed to switch over, to go to a different side if you choose to, if it's better for you. And you are allowed to now talk about that platform. With that being said, though, do not, do not be upset when criticism comes your way. That's where the Catch-22 comes in. See, I made a video, and I titled the video, Stadia Will Never Die. And shout out to my big brother, Portal Rock 77. Look, man, Portal Rock has uh, blood is thicker than water, so it is what it is. Sit, sit down, guys. Portal Rock has heard a lot of my takes that he's not a fan of. And, you know, big bro, little bro, he just lets it slide. It is what it is, right? He got to see me for Thanksgiving, so he ain't going to get crazy, right? Um, But this one, he didn't let slide. So he kept the receipts of that video, and he posted it on Twitter. And he showed how I titled that video, Stadia Will Never Died. And obviously, I was 100% wrong. I thought that was going to blow up a little bit more. I thought the, the ponies would have jumped on with him and would have, you know, given me a harder time. But it it died out pretty quickly. And I think it's because once they clicked on the video, as mo well, most of you already know, my titles are a little bit more shock value than what I'm actually speaking, right? So then when you come into the video and you actually hear me talk, I speak a lot of facts that makes it kind of difficult for you to disagree with me. I teeter on the borderline of facts and capping, right? I know what I'm doing, okay? But I take an L for that. There's no other way to say it. There's no other way to say it. And 
I still believe in this cloud technology. So best believe that even though cloud gaming is not the main way that I game, it has been useful to me. And I have Stadia to, to thank for that. Stadia was what made me a believer in cloud gaming. But now that Stadia is gone, these other companies that are here, that I actually have subscriptions to all of them, Luna, GeForce Now, and xCloud, one of them is going to take its place as my primary cloud gaming platform whenever I decide to game on the cloud. And as I myself start making videos about this cloud gaming service, whether it's GeForce Now or xCloud, those are the two that I'm really looking at right now, feel free to call me a hypocrite. Feel free to pull the videos where I was talking positively about Stadia and feel free to tell me that I was wrong. But I'm not going to stop making content. The same way that if next year PlayStation somehow, some way the PS5 figures out a way to pull well, ahead of the Xbox and I'm compelled to say, nah, PlayStation is doing its thing and I start making positive videos about the PlayStation, it is what it is. At least you know that I'm being honest. So for all of you out there that just lost your Stadia channel, it's okay. Don't worry about people are going to talk what they're going to talk. Go ahead and figure out what you want to do, which cloud service you want next. Or maybe you do join a console or PC. Over here on the green side, everything's a lot more logical. If you go over there to the blue side, you got to be prepared to... You got to be really strong over there because the amount of goalpost moving they do is ridiculous. But who knows? They might have a home for you as well. Doc Dog 1985, there's levels to this. We out. Peace.